हेलो एवरीवन मैं नेम इज आनंद कुमार झा एंड यू आर वाचिंग कोड विथ आनंद सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू यूज डेटा रैप्टर लोड इन द इंटीग्रेशन प्रोसीजर एंड वी आल्सो टॉक अबाउट इंटीग्रेशन प्रोसीजर एंड डेटा रैप्टर एज डेटा सोर्स सो फ्रॉम ऑन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट यूजर इंटरफेस लाइक हाउ टू क्रिएट ओमनी स्क्रिप्ट एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट फ्लेक्स कार्ड and uh, how to use those data source in the omni script and flex card to display the information on the ui level so without any further delay let's start so you can see first you have to come into this omni studio and there you can find all the details related to omni script cards flex card like we create the uh, data adapter in the integration procedure same way you can first choose the omni script and in the omni script you have to provide some information while creating new omni script so as soon as you click on new you will get this pop up where you have to provide some information so you need to give the name then type and subtype is mandatory this should be unique always type subtype so and then you can select language as well right now it's english you can use multi language as well so yeah just uh, select uh, what uh, we can give the name as a display account display account info okay we need we gave this name and the uh, type i am going to give as a poc proof and concept and pass it here and lwc enable yeah we need to uh, enable it and uh, in description we you can give anything i am going to give as a like uh, this os is a short form of omni script is used to this os is used to display account info okay and the once you save it will give you the new omni script structure where you can use all the elements and data sources so let me show you this way you can uh, create new omni script okay and uh, yep so it it take some time depending on your internet connection to create the omni script oh, my org is little bit slow so it's taking time no issue sure. so it's created new omni script you can see here so we have a uh, new omni scripts and uh, you can see this structure here under this structure you can use all the details and actions or elements to build the proper steps and here you can see all the steps as you can use and this is the tree grid here you can use all the steps you can see in different different format now under the right hand side you can see action display function groups input you can use all these as a input under action you can find uh, all the data adapter integration procedure remote action everything set value under display you can find all the inputs which you can use like uh, line break in text under functions you can use formula messaging and aggregate under groups you can use a block action block edit block radio group and uh, under the input you can find all the like checkbox custom lwc currency date date time disclosure email and uh, all the inputs and then you can use the omni script inside omni script as well like a reusable omni script here so this way you can create all the inputs so uh, let's expand this one and uh, first of all what we can do we need data to display on this system. first of all let's uh, create some uh, input here input field here so we are we go are going to display account name account phone number and account email here okay in this step first we are going to display these steps so i need some input so for that purpose we are going to use uh, text so if you type your text you can see text block and text which you want to use so if you want text here we can uh, this way this is work as a input or place holder both so we can make this field as a read only if you want and you can make it as a write only or write as well so this is work as the input and output both you can use that that way 
so i am going to make it as a read only field so that it can only display the value not we can edit and the name should be same as a value uh, first let's give the account name okay then field level we can keep it as a same the same way you can create a clone of this one one two and three things first we are going to display account name then second we are going to display account phone account phone and third we are going to display account email so account email all three things we are going to display and the name of this step we are going to give as a um, account information okay account information as a step name and you can use label uh, it can be auto generated so let's try uh, if i give it working account information as a label so you can see account information as a label and you can use label here as a account name account email and then you can use okay uh, account email here and account phone here so this way you can use all these information so if you preview this one right now you will not get anything because we don't have the data sources here to display so it will just give you the blank value everything so you can see it's a blank value account name account phone account email it's not uh, displaying here so for that what you have to use you have to use the data source as well so for the data source first we are going to use the data adapter so for that what you can do we can use data adapter here okay and uh, under this data adapter we created one poc get account details so you can select here so and uh, you can remove the label if you not use it's not it's okay or if you want to use you can use it so i am going to give label as a uh, name of this data adapter as a get account information okay so this is used as a get account information and uh, you have to use data source and filter value to provide e this one so uh, if i open this one let's see so it's a selecting account id as a input okay and what are we getting as a output we are getting lot of things but we need what we need we first need uh, let me delete some or, or we uh, we need account name but naming format should be same so i am going to use as account name okay account name and uh, i don't you want to use these things so i just simply delete this one i just need three things which i am going to add here so let me delete all these things you can delete or you can make it as inactive always first you can do two things so you can make it delete or you can use is disable it will not work it will be a disable value you can see here so first we are going to use account name then we need account phone so first you can use your phone and then in double c o u n t account p h o n e phone account phone and then we use account email as well we need so email you can see and then json path as account email so we have all these three things let's see it's showing failed to save maybe uh, internet connection is not here uh, okay it's not connected to internet so let's see okay now this is connected to uh, internet so let me refresh this one and refresh the tab so once this is refreshed you need to give all the value again i need to give here so you can see uh, internet connection was not there so i again refresh this one 
and uh, we have account name account phone we need one more that is account email so for that you can select the email and the account email so we have all three value now we need some input to check that all these value we are getting or not so for that we can let's search uh, sales console so that we can fetch some account details from here from the sales so let's go to the account tab and let's see all the accounts mm, all the accounts and uh, we are going to filter this one on the basis of uh, let's see select fields to display we are going to display account name account phone and uh, type is okay billing state i don't want to display this one but i definitely want to display email so where is the okay email is here so i want to display email as well so this account has all the information code with ananjha okay so we are going to use the id of this account so i open this account just copy this one and uh, let's check if this data adapter is returning everything whatever we need so just paste it here and execute so we are getting all three input so what we can do now under you can see we are using here now we have to provide data source here or filter value so how you can do that to use that you have to pass the value here so data source is nothing going to be like a context id so context id we are going to pass through uh, either you if you are going to use this uh, into this account here account uh, this flex cards as a uh, lwc component it will directly take context id of this account and will display this uh, omni studio through that uh, some accents like velocity accents but we are going to preview here first and then we'll show you how you can use as a lwc things so for that uh, first let's uh, use set value to set as a data source so set value how set value works so set value is work as uh, storing the value or you can use this as a uh, like a variable kinds to uh, store the value so uh, just uh, keep sp1 set value 1 and under the new element you can use as here context id okay and under the context id what you can do you can just paste it the value which you copied account id okay and now what we can do we can use the same value as the data source and filter value both for this data adapter so to use that you can use context id and the context id so what it will do it will okay no 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 data source and here you have to use account id which uh, data adapter needs as a input value you can use account id so this way you will get all these value through this data adapter three value and when you get three value in the data input json the same value will be copied here to get displayed so uh, let's preview this one and let's see all these value are getting or not So it's getting previewed so you can see all these value we are getting here but uh, first of all why uh, account phone is coming here so we need to check that so you can see uh, code with han code with jha, account name is coming account email is coming but let's see why account phone is coming out of the uh, account information steps so to check this one let's go here under action difficulty we can check the input you can providing input account id as this and under response you are getting account phone and account name okay so if you are getting all these numbers here then okay then we need to check that the how we are using input so account phone okay so go to design and uh, let's come to the account phone step okay so name you can see the name is not present here the so names will be same as whatever you are getting through the uh, input json 
तो अकाउंट पी एच ओ एन ई फोन सो इफ यू कैन प्रिप यू नाउ यू विल गेट ऑल दिस वैल्यू एंड यू कैन क्लियर दिस लॉग्स दिस लॉग्स विल बी यूज टू डी बग एवरी थिंग सो यू कैन सी अंडर द डेटा जेसॉन्स वी आर गेटिंग ऑल दी वैल्यू ई मेल फोन एंड नीम एंड द सेम वैल्यू वी आर डिस्प्लेंग हियर एज वेल If you can see account name, account phone, account email. This way, what you can do? This way, you can create the uh, omni script and use the data source here as well. Okay. So this is all for this video. From next video, I'll show you how you can use multiple steps and uh, first you get the value from the uh, user and then store this value to the sales force. So from next video, we are going to display all these things. So yeah. That's all for this video and if you like this video please subscribe the channel share with your friends we were uh, need information for the uh, omni studio certification you can contact me through the telegrams and uh, my email thank you thank you everyone